Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first module of BMATS 101 first semester max P cycle. So in this module we have six topics. The first one is the polar coordinates and polar curves and there are some proofs are there and uh, some formulas will be uh, learning the formulas and the equations after which we will be solving the problems. Okay, so uh, these are the five topics but the fifth topic has four more uh, uh, subdivisions. So we will be discussing all of them what type of question you can expect in an exam and if you watch this video till the end usually you can score more than 80% marks. Make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started. The first one is polar coordinates and polar curves. Okay, so what do you mean by polar coordinate and what is a polar curve? Okay, just imagine that there is a point here O and there is a line here. Okay, this line is called as the radius. Okay, and there is a theta angle here and another line is coming like this. That is A and uh, this is T, the tangent and uh, there is a curve here. Okay, there is a curve here and tangent means what if there is a curve here from 90 degree if it is coming like this that is called as a tangent okay this is called as tangent okay like that uh, this figure is made and the point 0 0 is called pole p r theta is called polar coordinate and distance o p is equal to r is called radius of vector this is called as the radius of vector okay this is the radius of the vector so that was about the polar coordinates and polar uh, uh, curves okay so this is called as polar curve the curve which is having a tangent Next we have the angle between radius of vector and tangent to the polar curve. Okay, radius of vector is this one and tangent to the polar curve is this one. So what is the angle between them that we have to calculate. Okay, so this angle is called as phi. Okay, and here we have theta and here we have another symbol. Okay, so here we have this is equal to uh, phi plus theta. Take tan on both sides. So tan this is equal to uh, tan phi plus tan theta. So if you apply the tan formula, you will be obtaining this one. After that, we can take m as this one and that will be equal to dy by dx. That is nothing but the slope. Slope is equal to dy by dx. So tan psi is equal to uh, dy by dx and let's take uh, x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. Okay. So when we do that, uh, we will be substituting here and after taking x and uh, y, we will be uh, differentiating it with respect to theta. So what will this become? This will become um, this will become r uh, means we will we'll be taking dx by d theta and here also we will be differentiating here also we will take dy by d theta and we will be differentiating okay so first we will differentiate this when we differentiate this we will be obtaining this equation and we will simplify it to become this equation and this one when we differentiate we will be obtaining this one okay after that dy by d theta we have here dy by d theta okay this is dy by d theta and this is dx by d theta we will take these both and substitute it like this okay dy by dx can be written as like this okay dy by dx can be written as like this okay so uh, what is uh, dy by dx D uh, dy by dx is nothing but tan psi tan psi is dy by dx what i'm doing is just divide by d theta here and this also divide by d theta so what happened dy by d theta dx by d theta okay that values we have to substitute here dy by d theta and dx by d theta which we have got from here dy by d theta dx by d theta when we do that and simplify it we'll be getting our tan uh, psi value as this one and after this point you have to uh, simplify it further okay so when you simplify this uh, value further you will be obtaining uh, the final equation which is cot phi is equal to 1 by r dr by d theta okay so this is the main equation which you need to know this is the the phi is the angle between the radius of the vector and the tangent okay then we have the angle between two curves here only uh, previously we considered one curve now we are considering two curves okay so one curves will have one tangent like this second curve will have tangent like this okay so uh, the first curve is f1 theta it's represented as second curve is uh, f2 theta and both are intersecting at this point this is phi 2 angle phi 1 angle and the angle between the curve 1 and curve 2 is phi 2 minus phi 1 okay and t1 and t2 are the two tangents so we want to calculate this one so uh, when we uh, uh, find out this value if it is 90 degree that means the both the curves are perpendicular or orthogonal okay now we have to prove uh, there is an equation we have to prove 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r power 4 dr by d theta whole square okay using the uh, notations now we, uh, we have to have we have this diagram here this is phi this is theta this is pi by 2 the tangent between uh, this one and this one it is pi by 2 okay we have taken it as 90 degree here and uh, this looks looks not like 90 degree but assume that it is 90 degree here okay so the diagram is a bit uh, bad but it is a 90 degree here okay so uh, uh, we are considering this diagram from the triangle opm okay so this is p here o p m okay this triangle we are considering 
sin phi is equal to om by op opposite side by hypotenuse so it will be p by r opposite side is this one and the hypotenuse is this one okay since this is 90 degree we are considered here so we will get p is equal to r sin phi square it both the sides take the reciprocal here so this will become cosec phi here and cosec phi uh, square phi can be written as a uh, 1 plus cot square phi okay so this is another equation now what we will do we will take tan phi that is equal to r uh, d theta by dr cot phi will be 1 by r d theta by dr this we have uh, found out in the previous uh, proof right the angle between so there we have found out to cot phi is equal to this now substitute this value here okay 1 by r dr by d theta when you substitute and take the square you will get this value here okay let's have a look at the problems the first one is find the angle between the radius of the vector and tangent so this is what we have to find out the angle between the radius and the tangent which we just derived the equation curve is given here r is equal to a minus uh, a1 minus cos theta also find the angle of phi at theta is equal to 60 degree okay so first we have to find out the angle between them and then we have to find out what is the angle of this one when theta is 60 degree okay now after you have got this equation first step you need to do is differentiate with respect to theta so you will be having dr by theta and you will be having this one here and uh, when you uh, take 1 by r in both the sides and r can be written as a into 1 minus cos theta okay this is the formula r is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta okay this is the formula just remember you'll be using in the equations so substitute that here and uh, this one we can be uh, written as cot phi so we'll be writing here cot phi and this whole equation can be simplified as cot phi by uh, theta by 2 so phi will be equal to theta by 2 and now we have to take theta is equal to 60 degree which is in radians pi by 3 so when you uh, take this equation and uh, substitute it here so it will become uh, pi by 3 by 2 so phi will be okay so this is not theta this is pi is equal to pi by 3 by 2 that is equal to uh, phi equal to pi by 6 okay so this is the uh, value of the angle we have got when uh, it is theta is equal to um, pi by 3 okay the next question find the angle between the radius of vector and tangent same question just the values are different here take the r here 1 plus cos theta and differentiate it and once we differentiate it, multiply 1 by r in both the sides, I write r as a into 1, 1 plus cos theta and uh, cancel a from here. And then uh, sin theta can be written as this one, this are uh, trigonometric formulas. After that, this can be written as cot phi and here we'll get tan pi by 2 and make it in the form of cot and cot here by taking pi by 2 plus uh, theta by 2 and all. And after that, we'll be obtaining this one, phi is equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2. Now the pi value, uh, theta value is given as pi by 6. So this will become pi by 2 plus pi by 6. Okay, so that will become pi by uh, 7 pi by 12. Okay. And in case they ask to find angle between two curves, find out uh, phi 1, like how we found out phi here, like that only find out phi 2 also and just subtract it. If they ask to prove if it is orthogonal or not, when you subtract them by finding out pi 1 and phi 2 and subtract them, if you get uh, pi by 2, it is uh, orthogonal. If you don't get it, it is not orthogonal. Okay. Moving on to the fourth uh, topic, which is pedal equations of polar curves. Okay. What do you mean by a pedal equation? This same diagram we have here as in the previous, uh, we have discussed the proof. So here we'll be considering P is equal to R sin phi, or it can be written as 1 by P square is equal to 1 by R square, 1 plus cot square phi. And uh, this can be written in this form also dr by theta. These are called as pedal equation. Okay. Also, it is called as PR equation where theta is excluded. Okay. So wherever theta is excluded, that is called as pedal equation. Okay. Those these two are the pedal equations. Okay. Let's have a look at uh, the problems here. Find the pedal equation for the polar curve. So pedal equation we have to find, and R, uh, this equation is given to us. Always when this equation is given, you have to find dr by d theta, which is differentiated with respect to theta. When you do that, you'll be getting this one. Then multiply 1 by r in both the sides. Take uh, r is equal to a 1 plus cos theta and uh, simplify it. How to simplify, you'll be getting this uh, value here. After this, the cot phi value, substitute it with tan uh, theta by 2 in this equation. When you do that, you will be getting a 6 square theta by 2 here. And that can be taken in the downside as cos square theta by 2. So, uh, after taking reciprocal of both of these, you will be getting p square is equal to r square 1 plus cos theta by 2. Okay, so this is this cos square can be written as like this, right? When you have uh, taken it up and uh, by using the formula cos square theta by 2 is equal to 1 plus cos theta by 2. After that, uh, the 2 you can take here r square by 2 and 1 plus cos theta can be written as uh, r by a okay, because r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta, right? And after that, uh, r by a, just multiply it with this one. So we'll be getting the equation without theta. This is called as the pedal or the PR equation. Okay. Moving on to the last topic, which is curvature and the radius of curvature. Very important question. K is called the curvature. P is the radius of curvature. 
P is equal to 1 by K, which is also D S by D uh, psi. Okay. Now, you have to remember three equations. Arc length of different curves. Okay. Arc length of different curves. First is parametric equation. F of X, Y is equal to C. So, D S by D X can be written as square root of 1 plus D Y by D X whole square. That can be written as this is uh, the first differentiation of Y. So, uh, Y dash it can be written and square is here. So, D S by D X can be written as square root of 1 plus Y 1 square. Same thing. Uh, for ds by dx uh, dy it can be 1 plus x1 square and if it is in the form x is equal to uh, xt and y is equal to yt like a parametric equation then you will differentiate with respect to t here so it will be dx by dt square plus dy by dt square also this can be written as x dash of t y dash of t okay if f r theta is given then ds by d theta you have to take and that will be r square plus dr by d theta whole square or that can be written as 1 plus r square you can take it as uh, common here and d theta by dr whole square okay you can uh, write it in uh, both of these ways both are valid ones okay so uh, we need to derive the three equations first in cartesian form then in the uh, ang uh, polar form and then in the pedal equation form and then in the theta form okay so we'll be discussing each one by one so if they ask you the derivation in the cartesian form just make this diagram this is the slope which is given as m tan psi and f of x y is equal to c and this is the tangent here so m is equal to tan psi that is equal to y1 okay so uh, the uh, y1 is nothing but dy by dx that is only the tan uh, i mean the uh, slope and the tan value so everything is uh, same only so we will take the psi value as tan inverse of uh, y1 differentiate with respect to theta when you differentiate uh, this the tan inverse with respect to theta we will be obtaining it like this and uh, we can take d phi by d theta is equal to this one when we uh, simplify it further and uh, uh, this equation you know right i just discussed in the about ds by dx is equal to 1 plus y1 square so y1 value uh, will be uh, uh, not y1 value uh, we'll be taking this one uh, p is equal to ds by d psi and uh, taking uh, the dx in both the sides so that we'll be able to substitute this one and this one uh, we'll be uh, doing that so ds by dx will be substituting it here with this value and uh, d psi by dx value will be substituting it here okay this one value will be substituting it here and um, actually this is the psi by dx okay so we'll be substituting this value here and after that uh, we'll be simplifying it further and we'll be getting this equation okay so this, this is the main equation which we'll be using in the numericals and this is in the cartesian form okay second is in the polar form again make the same diagram take the theta here and psi here and uh, uh, phi here after that we know that uh, psi is equal to phi plus theta and take the differentiation with respect to s on both the sides and divide by d theta here and after that take uh, d a theta by d d s as common and you'll be obtaining this equation also we know that tan uh, phi is equal to r d theta by dr and just keep r here and take d tr by d theta uh, in the bottom and when you take d theta by dr in the bottom you'll be obtaining this one and after that tan phi is equal to r by r1 okay so this is called as r1 and where r1 is this one okay dr by d theta after that you will be obtaining the value of uh, phi which is uh, tan inverse of r by r1 now using three differentiate with respect to theta you have to differentiate this with respect to theta when you do that you will be obtaining this equation and uh, yeah this equation will be obtaining after that uh, keep this in mind the second one uh, we'll be taking it like this the second one what we have got here in the above right this one okay this one will be taking here and here we'll be uh, substituting the value of d phi by d theta which you have got here when you do that and simplify it you'll be obtaining an equation like this okay this is how you derive in the polar form next is in the parametric form in the parametric form this is the formula which will be uh, there and uh, there is no derivation of it this is just the formula which you have to use x1 square plus y, uh, y1 square or you can even write as uh, x1 y2 minus x2 y1 okay so this is the uh, parametric equation here okay the parametric form uh, this one uh, you'll be using okay and uh, there is a division sign in between them okay so these are division sign which is present here okay so that is about the uh, radius of curvature in parametric form next we have the radius of curvature in the pedal form in pedal form you'll be writing like this p is equal to r dr by dp so when we do the questions you'll understand it more better way so uh, find the radius of curvature they have asked find the radius of curvature which means p we have to find y is equal to a log sec x by a here y is given so we'll be using the cartesian formula 
So we will be differentiating with respect to x because we want dy by dx. So we will be obtaining this one. After we got dy by dx, again we will differentiate with respect to x because we want y1 as well as y2. When we will uh, do that, we will obtain y2. After we have got y1 and y2, uh, substitute this formula uh, y1 and y2 here. When you do that and simplify, you will be obtaining this equation. Okay. Find the radius of curvature of uh, this uh, equation here. So here also as you can see x and y are there. So you have to take the Cartesian form. You take the Cartesian form and the uh, value of p also is given is this one. Means x is equal to 3a by 2, y is equal to 3a by 2. Okay. At a point we will substitute that as well. So we will differentiate with respect to x as usual and we will get y1. Again we will uh, uh, differentiate with respect to y here. So we will get y2. Before that, we will also find out the value of what is y1 when uh, x is equal to 3a by 2 and y is equal to 3a by 2. Substitute the values here, y, x and y and you will get an answer here. And same for the y2 also, you will do that and find out uh, one value here. And after you have found the value of uh, y2, uh, we will take the positive value. Okay, even, even if you get negative, we have to take the positive here. 32 by 3a, we have to take the modulus here. Okay, like that. After you find out the value of y1 and y2, just substitute those values here and uh, find out the answer. Okay. If they give you in the form of uh, theta, which is the polar uh, form, r, r power n, a power n cos n theta, then differentiate with respect to theta first to find out what is dr by d theta. Okay. And simplifying further, you will be getting the value of cot phi. How you will get cot phi? This is equal to cot phi. Okay. Like that. And tan n theta is there. And put it in the equation of this one because you want to find out the value of p. And when you do that and simplify it further, you will be get, uh, getting uh, the value of p here as a n p r n plus 1 and after that uh, differentiate with respect to p both the sides if you differentiate with respect to p you will be getting this one d uh, r by dp okay after that uh, you will be obtaining uh, till this point here just uh, after this point you will be uh, simplifying it further and taking the uh, values in the different uh, places like from here to here will be shifting and you will be arriving at this equation r dr by dp okay and r dr by dp is nothing but the value of p only Okay, RDR by DP is nothing but P and whatever answer is here, that is your uh, final answer. Okay, this is how you need to follow the steps and uh, find out the answer. Also, the answer which you have got here, that is uh, the answer which you will be uh, using in the final equation. Okay, that's all. Uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.